Hi and thanks for joining me. I'm Michelle and in today's video I want to talk about a contract for deed. When people go to buy property, and I mean real property, land, a house, a condo, a bare ground, a farm, a business, you can acquire it by buying it outright uh, so that you own it at the time of the closing or you could have a lease with a purchase option or you could have a contract for deed. A contract for deed is where the buyer of the property is paying payments either directly to the current owner of the property or to some other person or entity such as a bank who has a mortgage on it for a specified period of time there may or may not be regular monthly payments or regular other periodic payments with a larger payment at the end or a series of equal payments all the way for a specified term until those payments are finally made. But the difference between uh, a, an outright purchase where you're making payments and a contract for deed is that the buyer doesn't own the property until all the payments have been made. How this is usually accomplished is first of all, as with all, all agreements on real estate, this has to be in writing. So it will have to be a written agreement to provide for this um, contract for sale by contract for deed. The next thing that will occur is that that document should be recorded. That way, anyone else who is looking at an interest in that property will know that you are buying that property. The next thing that should occur is there should be an escrow agent set up so that either a title company, a bank, an attorney, or some other third party where the person who is selling it under the contract for deed actually fills out a deed from themselves to you as the buyer and the escrow agent holds this deed. This is done at the initial closing and the signing of the contract for deed. The instructions to the title company, which will either, or escrow agent, will, which will either be in the contract for deed document itself or a separate escrow arrangement will say the buyer is paying the payments to the escrow agent or to some third party or to the seller. There's going to be some communication through the escrow company so they can keep track of all the payments that are being made. The seller deposits the deed to the escrow company so the escrow company has it and that way it's just a matter of fulfilling the other requirements in the contract so that the buyer on the last payment is going to have the deed and can have it recorded and that's when title passes. It's very important that the original contract therefore is recorded because none of the rest of this is going to be found of public record unless that contract or a memorandum or other writing, shorthand writing, is filed to say that this, this is being conveyed under contract for deed. Because valuable rights are being conveyed at the time the contract is sold, and most, most importantly, we want to protect the buyer against the seller entering into a similar or same agreement with someone else and them recording before you do. And therefore, then you're left with payments out the door and no rights to the property. So in this type of a situation, if you have this type of arrangement that you've made, make sure either the contract or a memorandum of the contract is filed of record. And that should help you. If this video was helpful, you might check up on our other the rest of this playlist to see if other videos are of interest to you. We also have all the other videos arranged in a playlist by topic for ease of reference. If you want to know of our next video coming out, please follow us on Facebook or Twitter or subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.